hello guys welcome back and let's see how to do the stacked bar plot in the previous lecture we saw like you know how to draw the box how to draw the bar plot for the time series data so now let's see the stacked bar plots let's look into our data this is what the original data which is there with me and what i need to do here is that i need to do the stacked bar plot i'll put the four hash here let me mention stacked bar plot here and let's mention here like you know how to do the stacked bar plot so in order to do the stacked bar plot we need to do some kind of pre-processing our data as we have a sales and we have the year and we have the quarter with me so in the previous case what we did is a group by by only the year so now what i need to do here is that i need to do the pre-processing or i need to do the group by even for the quarter two so let's see how to do that here so let's select the columns here which one is the sales and second one is year and third one is the quarter so let me take the three columns and do the group by and do the group by first one is uh, so group by the final to group by first by year and second by quarter and what to do the aggregation operator i need to mention is sum here and you can see that perfect we got all the values that has been in the 2001 what is the question every quarter how is going to be there and sales everything has been perfectly labeled and indexed is what the data i'm having with me right so of course this kind of data is very difficult for me to visualize instead i will do one thing i will do the pre-processing in my own way so let me do one thing and let me take the sales values which was arranged in order and let me convert that into the values and let me print the sales here and what we have is a list of array and all the sales has been there with me oh i need to take the values this so perfect i'm having the all the values here and all the sales has been there so let me look into the say shape of that let me look into the shape of that and the sales dot shape sales dot shape this is what i'm having is 36 and one thing we have to be understand here is that i'm having the nine years of data and uh, each year consists of each year has four quarters so each year has four quarters if you look into that nine years of data each year of four quarters obviously nine four uh, 36 is what happened so let's do one thing here let's take the sales and let me reshape my data into nine comma four so if i reshape the data into nine comma four and what i'm having is that the rows or the years and the columns is my quarter for example if you see like now this is the information of my 2001 and quarter one and this is what exactly the same thing for 2001 and quarter one and so on so we have such kind of data which is available with me so let's do one thing let's convert that into data frame now so pd dot data frame and i'm having the data with me and let me specify my index obviously it was starting from 2001 to 2009 so let me take the list of range of starting from 2000 to 1 to and i'll end with 2009 so it is 2010 and one more thing is the columns and one more thing i need to specify is the columns so okay one more thing i need to specify is the columns oh c o l u m n s right so columns is the first one is q1 and second one is q2 and q2 and third one is q3 and fourth one is q4 is what there with me so let me execute it and check whether i'm getting perfect or not yes it is correct so now i'll just save it into the variable df underscore sales is what the data i am having with me right now so let's look in the df underscore sales 
so the fnss k sales is one of the data and we have the perfect data which was there with us it is a, which is what my uh there in this perfect matrix format and this is the perfect data which i can do the visualizations so let's do now let's create the stack and bar plot what is that i'll do the sales here and the dot and the kind of plot i'm sorry i'll just use a plot here and the kind of plot i'm looking for is bar plot the perfect thing and you can see like you know the perfect bar plot which was there and which is much more better than my the previous bar plot which i drawn here and you can see the nice color formations and everything is there let me do one thing let me increase my figure size fake comma axis is plt dot figure and fix size and that is going to be equal to 10 comma 6. all right so let me put one thing ax is equal to ax and plt dot show and perfect oh one more thing we have mixed somewhere oh it's a subplot every time i'm missing this yes so this is the subplots perfect now let me increase a bit here 15 yes now it's fine it looks much more better much more better here now you can see this was with the 2001 and q1 the sales and the q and the sales in this this is q2 and q3 and this is the q4 and so on obviously you know if you sum up all these values which will be nearly equal to the 2000 and that was my total sales that has happened in the 2001 perfect right so this is war by year on year how what is the number of sales that is being happen and we can be clearly understand and one more thing the kilo identification what we can see is that the quarter one sales is very low and whereas quarter two and quarter three sales are very good and the quarter four sales is also also low but whereas you can see about this company the more sales they are going to get in the quarter two and quarter three so that's the one thing intuition we can get here so let's do one thing let me do this is also called a stacked bar plot but here there is uh, if you want to plot uh, the sum of all these things and everything in the same line and we have a stack is there and specify the stack is equal to false and uh, if, i'm sorry stack this is a stack is equal to false if you specify the stack is equal to true and you will get the perfect bar plot and even much better cooler than the previous one you can see here the sum of all the bars is being sum up being summing up you getting the really the value is 2000 and this is what the bar plot which you are going to get and sum of all the values so this is a nearly the really the coolest stuff you can see in the pandas which we can able to visualize even the much more better and which one much more intuition can be understand even in the picture here so as you can see i'm just remembering again so this is the plot we have this is the data which we have and we did much more they did the pre-processing to bring into the nice intuition and visualization so that you can understand about the company's stats much more better all right so let's do the same thing here which is uh, almost equal to the area plot so if you specify the area here and that is much more equal to the same this is the same thing the area plot so this is for the quarter one quarter two quarter three and quarter four sum up all together what is the value that is being there and nice intuition can be get even from the area plot. of course obviously this and this are both the same but this is the bar and this is the area plot in which you can understand here and there is an area plot it is a stack is equal to true if you specify the stack is equal to false we can compare the uh, the area plots how they are going to be there for each and every quarter for example the blue one is the q1 and the yellow one is q2 and the green is q3 and q and red is q4 the blue and green so blue and red is almost coinciding with each other whereas uh, green and yellow is almost touching each other so this is on all the intuitions which you can get in the, the stacker plots and with this kind of data we can understand much more intuition about our data
about also about our time series analysis also about our time series analysis so that's it guys this is about the bar plot in the next lecture we will talk about the heat maps thank you very much hey guys thanks for watching this video in the upcoming videos we are going to watch about the powerful visualizations on time series data like area plot bar plot heat maps etc so we are going to see all those things in this upcoming videos please find the description for the urls below on the visualizations on time series data and don't forget to subscribe our channel data science anywhere for more videos and projects on data science thank you very much and happy learning